Okay, welcome to lesson four. This is going to be adding the rings to the so that Sonic can collect them. I'm going to rename this. I'm going to call this rings as well. So I'm going to call this just ring one. What I did was import uh, the ring. I've, you can see that I've got uh, a, a a brighter one here. I, I prefer this one though that had the black, it, it had a black background when I downloaded it. Um, the reason that, the reason I preferred this is just because when it resizes, so you can see that you can see the size of it here, when it resizes down to this it uh, it's, just a, it's just a lot neater around the edge. So I'm going to delete this because I don't need it. Now because what we're going to do is we're going to repeat these over and over so that um, Sonic can collect it when he jumps onto the platform. So what I'm going to do is go into when flag clicked and this is going to be very simple, it's going to be uh, forever if and then it's going to be forever if touching Sonic let's go and, let's go and rename this so we know that it's Sonic because you could see that there was some confusion there so there, it's automatically changed to Sonic. Uh, we want it to hide, and then at the same time, we want to add a variable. Let's call this rings, and we want that to show in the top left-hand corner over here, because we want them to uh, change rings by one. Because later on, we, we want this to score in here when this gets to about 50. We want to be able to you know, show something like um, the end of level boss or something like that. So hopefully, when Sonic moves around, all right, we've got some problems with our jumps here. We can see that rings goes to one. That's the end of this particular part. Uh, the next part will be, we hope, is going to be adding levels and scores to do these rings. What you, I want you to do now is duplicate this so that they show and I want you to go and make a duplicate these like so so on your platforms so that we can collect them fantastic thank you